Hello everyone, this is Don Self. It's time for another mini webinar. Hopefully I'll keep this down to about nine to 15 minutes, hopefully, unless I get too wordy. Today we're gonna to talk about ANS testing, autonomic nervous system testing. This will be a mini webinar. The ANS has been tested since 19, 1984 that I'm aware of. They started out with heart rate variability and beat to beat ratios. They've gone and added in pseudomotor function testing, sympathetic withdrawal, with static blood pressure testing and even ankle brachial indices, because it all works together. As you've seen on the previous webinars, the autonomic nervous system, consisting of the parasympathetic and sympathetic nerves, the two major branches of it, there's one other, it's called the enteric, but the major branches of it affects every organ system. So it makes sense to test this right here. And the reimbursement keeps increasing on the testing, by the way, at the same time. Now, typically, these are the insurance uh, I mean, the ICD-10 codes that are covered by insurance for doing ANS testing. Everything from diabetes with peripheral circulatory problems to depression. Might be that the patient's having super high uh, parasympathetics is causing a depression. It makes more sense to test this and find out so you can address the cause of the problems. All the way to insomnia. Perhaps the patient has got a high parasympathetics is causing the insomnia problems. Uh, high sympathetics, I'm sorry, causing this, the uh, uh, insomnia problems at nighttime. It could be everything from tachycardia, erectile dysfunction. All of these are uh, diagnoses is typically covered by insurance. Now, Medicare has their own set of rules when it comes to whether they're going to cover something or not uh, that may or may not be in line with the commercial insurances at the same time. They're called local coverage determinations. Some states will have an LCD on some codes, while other states may not. And the LCDs are, will end up telling you what's covered, when is it covered, what procedure code, what diagnosis codes are required to be on the claim, how frequent you can do the testing, et cetera. Some LCDs apply only to independent diagnostic testing facilities. For instance, I was on the phone 20 minutes ago with a practice in Mississippi that was looking up an LCD for an ABI. And in Mississippi, there is no LCD for physician offices. There was for independent diagnostic testing facilities. So you need to know which one you're looking for. 34 different localities today, and this is July of 2017, have a Medicare LCD for autonomic nervous system testing. As you can see, they're on the screen right here. Novitas, or Novitas, for instance, has LCD 35395 and it was dated, updated in April of this year. And here are the list of the covered diagnosis codes on it. Interestingly enough, WPS Medicare updated theirs about the same time, and they have the same diagnosis codes. And you'll notice these codes on there, like tachycardia or orthostatic hypotension. Orthostatic hypotension, that's probably 50% of the population over 50 years old have orthostatic hypotension, and the doctors aren't even diagnosing it because they're not asking the right question. Well, this is a covered diagnosis. Here's a quote from one of the Medicare carriers, a MAX, called WPS. The autonomic nervous system regulates physiologic processes such as the blood pressure, heart rate, body temperature, digestion, metabolism, fluid, like electrolyte balance, sweating, urination, defecation, sexual response, and others. Medicare is recognizing that capturing these problems early ends up saving them a fortune in catastrophic care later on. And they're including the very first diagnosis there. Orthostatic hypotension. Symptoms suggesting autonomic dysfunction include orthostatic hypotension. How many times a day do you see patients that if you were to ask them, you stand up quickly, you get lightheaded when you stand up quickly, they would answer yes. Everything from heat intolerance, nausea, constipation, just it goes on and on and on. This is all effective. Now, some carriers limit the payment by the type of device you use. The only carrier that I know of that's done this so far is Novitas. They came out in April of this year. They're saying testing with the AMSA, ANX 3.0, other similar machines not, is considered investigational. And according to one report there in the LCD, they're saying they will not cover pseudomotor function testing if you're using the steel electrodes for the hands and the feet that are connected to a computer. Well, you gotta be careful on this right here because when you file a claim to Medicare, they may, may or may not know what devices you're using. Because the CPT code, the Hicks Fix code, just says what the test is. It doesn't describe the device. So you need to be careful and stay on top of this. This is one of the things that I advise. In fact, the very first thing whenever anyone calls me about an ABI or about ANS testing or hydrostat or 
if they're looking at any kind of equipment, first thing I do is go pull up the LCD. And then we need to read in the LCD to find out, is there any limitations? Because it's better to make sure you know up front. Salespeople won't always tell you. For instance, some people selling a &S testing will tell you there's six codes that you use and you're going to make about 800 something dollars. And they'll sell you the equipment and they're gone. And a year from now, they've changed companies. You have no idea where they are anymore, but then you get in trouble. You gotta be careful. I've been doing autonomic nervous system testing since 1999. I started with a, the granddaddy of the company. It's called Ansar out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And they were a phenomenal company. I absolutely love the people uh, and the equipment. The problem is though, that they're no longer doing this kind of testing with everything that we need them to do with because they got some trouble with the FDA because they're, well, I won't go into that. But anyway, there's three CPT codes you need to be billing out when you're doing this test right here. I, I sell the LD Tech TM Flow system, and that allows you to have three codes, 95921 for the ANS test, 95923 for the pseudomotor function test, and 93922 for the ABI using cosmography. Now, you'll find that the typical Medicare allowed amount in the country over average is $329 for these three codes. It may be all the way down to $289, I think in Mississippi somewhere, might be over $400 in San Francisco or Alaska, Hawaii, or one of the higher localities, because it's going to vary from locality to locality. Typical lease on this equipment right here, if you're doing a five-year lease, capital leases, most CPAs will tell the doctors to do so they get the tax code 179 write offs the same year. It'd be a dollar buyout at the end and a three months deferred. And the consumable cost on this is $3 per test per use and two electrodes. The electrodes are those double electrodes on the bottom of the feet. Your break even is about 5.3 tests per month. So if you're doing one test a day, that's about $78,000 a year based on a five day working week. That's not a bad ROI, the turn on investment of 225%. All the way to doing, if you're doing three tests a day, that's about $21,000 a month or $250,000 a year net. After the cost of the equipment and after the cost of the consumables, you're still making about $250,000 net. That's not a bad return on investment. It takes you about a month and a half to pay off the equipment in full, and then you have no debt, and that's a smart way to do it. When you compare that to mutual funds today or certificates of deposit, it just makes more sense to invest in yourself right now. So instead of treating the symptom, I'm recommending you treat the cause. Don't treat the depression. Treat what's causing it, not be a high parasympathetic. Don't treat the insomnia with Ambien or uh, uh, some other drug right there. Treat the cause. It might be a high parasympathetic, et cetera, or a high sympathetic. It may be, and, and ANS testing is quick. It's easy and painless. It takes about 10 minutes to do uh, and very profitable. As I said, I'm selling about three to four of these per month right now on average. Uh, and typically, most of them, I mean, all my primary care doctors are somewhere between eight and 17,000 on average. I've got some that's doing 27, $28,000 a month because they're doing four tests every single day. Uh, but I like to look at the long term. Your return on investment, if you can pay it off in the first few months, that makes sense. Get the equipment, pay it off, have no debt because we don't know what the carriers are going to do a year from now, two years from now. Uh, it may be that they continue to pay for it, increase the payments. It may be that somebody makes a stupid decision and two years now they stop paying for it. So if you can pay this equipment off in full within two months from the money that's coming in, it just makes sense to do it. And at the same time, what you're getting for the patient care is outstanding, amazing. A previous webinar I talked about patient care and the diagnoses and the next webinar is going to be about how to interpret the uh, interpretations of these tests. So if you want more information, feel free to contact me today, email me, uh, send, give me a phone call. And by the way, first thing you're gonna do is if you call me, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up your history on my computer, because I have the billing history for every doctor in the country on this computer right here, from what they billed the Medicare Part B in 2015. It's amazing how many doctors are missing things. They don't even know. I just hung up from my practice oh, about an hour ago. I had about 11, almost 12 o'clock, about an hour ago. And because uh, you don't know what time it is now, where I'm at. But uh, when I hung up from them, it turned out to be about $178,000 a year they were looking at. And that wasn't even including this machine. It's just basic coding information. So call me. Let's talk about that. It's been a little bit over 10 minutes now. Thank you and have a wonderful day.